Howdy folks, today let's talk about the X-Duo XA10 DAC amplifier for headphones and in-ear monitors. Uh, when I saw this first on the internet when it came out, I wanted it immediately. Um, it's got a uh, well, little bit funky looks, but I like it. It's actually not as big as you might think. Um, in comparison to a phone, here's an LG phone. It's actually like not as, as, as tall as that is. And then um, in comparison to a, uh, well, you know, we got some little uh, Shure, let your uh, S12s here. So it maybe give you a little size comparison. And then we have a margarita here for size comparison. Uh, maybe that helps. Um, this has a 4.4 balanced output, XLR balanced output, and single-ended outputs. It's got a little volume control right here. Nice little um, detented knob. A uh, little OLED screen on this. Got a couple buttons here. We can switch uh, between inputs here, which I have just been doing. Got a little menu button here that goes between uh, gain, which uh, we have low and high, nothing in the middle. And then we have the filters. And this is a top of the line AK. I think it's a 4499 DAC. Uh, I'll have to look that up in a second. Um, so we have sharp, slow, SD sharp, SD slow, super slow. LD short delay and uh, back up to the top and one thing I wanted to mention was as you flip these There's no pause in the music. You can hear the changes instantly and I absolutely adore that and As a matter of fact, um, I can hear the differences between most of those filters because it happens so fast you have your audio memory uh, You know in check in your brain and uh, it's awesome. Also just uh, while I'm looking at this um Got some awesome little LEDs, nice blue glow there. That's hot as hell. Uh, also a Bluetooth button there. So um, I believe what that's used for is when you switch it to the Bluetooth input. I haven't had to look at the manual uh, to, to um, figure this out, which I really appreciate. I hate uh, when things are just uh, designed stupidly, you know, in the menus and whatnot. Um, so if you hold this in right here, you will see, I think the little Bluetooth guy will start blinking maybe. Unpair. Yeah, so when it's uh, blinking, then that's in pair mode, and then I think I just unpaired it from my phone, but, you know, whatever. Um, so that's how you do that. And uh, it has enough power to power anything, I believe, and I'll go into the specs in a second here. But I got this in about an hour ago, popped in my... Uh, uh, Prometheus mod. These are a um, friend of mine, Bucky's, uh, John, uh, that I've been tuning and uh, instantly fell in love with this thing. Absolutely instantly. It's phenomenal. Uh, my, you know, in a previous video, I was talking about how I love AK DAX. Well, this is a top of the line uh, before the factory burned down. Um, and it is everything I want out of an AK DAC. The music, this thing drips musicality. Yeah. Um, it is not treble pushed. Uh, it does not have a saber DAC quality to it. Uh, very sultry, um, sublime high end, very deep and rich. Instantly, the deepest and richest headphone, or sorry, well, headphone amp I've ever heard. Uh, and uh, it, it surpasses all of the other stuff I have in terms of my collection um, very, very quickly. It was just immediately very, very strong emotional connection to this thing. Um, so let's talk about some specs on it, uh, just to go over it, why not? Let's look. It is $480, and that is actually very worth it to me. Uh, I got this, by the way, from Apos Audio. Thank you, guys. You got this to me quick, and I'm super happy with it. If uh, Well, I may end up with one of these is all I have to say. Um, let's see, all-in-one amp, and we have, uh, let's see, MQA. Oh, sorry, it's the 4493 EQ. I think I think that is actually the top of the line AKM before the stuff burned down. Uh, anyway, DSD, MQA, PCM, all of the uh, the the highest uh, bit rates that you could find. Well, probably there's higher, but anyway, 768 there, 4,000 milliwatt of output power. So probably will power most of the planners out there on the market. The big old over the head cans. It'll do any in-ear monitor um, as good as possible. There's no chance that it has not enough for uh, power for any in-ears. I want to say immediately that I plugged this into my uh, computer over USB. No background noise. Black as death. Perfect. Um, THDN of lots, very, very low. 
120 dB of SNR, signal to noise. I believe back, background proves that out. This thing says it's got a Class A buffer. It's got the double AK 4493s for the balanced. It's a freaking beefcake powerhouse of a DAC. There's no question this is at the top of what you can buy ever. Um, what else do we got here? Eight ins and outs. I'm not sure what that means. Pop protection relay. So it's not going to pop as you turn it on and off. Um, and in fact, I didn't notice any of that. It's got uh, Bluetooth, SBC, AAC, APX, APX HD, and APX LL. And um, LDAC, which is uh, why I'm super happy with it. So, you know, pop your phone on this guy. Uh, you know, Android, that's what I'll be using. Um, um, also here in the flow chart, we can see that it's got... Um, Class A buffer after the OPA 1612. So pretty much what that means is this is a Class A amplifier for your headphones. Um, just to point that out. And anything else that matters, plus 18 dB of gain. Uh, yeah, probably not. So balanced is 120 SNR, signal to noise, 115 single ended. Um, crosstalk is actually much worse single ended than balanced. And I'll test that out a little bit. And I actually have some tests for that. And uh, so this actually single-ended crosstalk sucks. That's really not wonderful for how good this is. So I'm going to recommend you go balance with this guy. And um, for the, I just immediately have this incredible emotional connection to this. It's so deep, so rich. Uh, there's no treble weirdness in terms of um, planner. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? Um, planner on Sabre DAX very often have a very high push treble thing going on there and I don't like it and uh, it doesn't have any of that it's an AK uh, let me just flip it around so folks can see that we have and I'm gonna pull this apart on another video sorry let me uh, just pop that out okay we've got uh, auxiliary outs auxiliary in so you can run this in a chain you know uh, RCA's in and back out we got uh, coaxial digital ins, uh, optical digital ins, and USB digital ins, but no balanced ins and outs on this, just to point out. Got a little Bluetooth antenna, nice little flippy switch on and off. That's nice to have a flippy switch. Like, why don't they put flippy switches and a lot of stuff? Um, anyways, uh, yeah, I may end up with this. This is absolutely the highest short bus recommendation based on sound alone. And again, I didn't have to pull the manual out. I have to screw around. This thing is freaking phenomenal. I love it. Nice big volume knob. Stick that on your desk. You got something to, you know, toke on there. Power switch in the back. Um, yeah, so as of right now, this is my top recommendation for actual sound in a one-piece desktop device. Obviously not mobile. Um, for mobile, I'm going to go with the Aeon B1S because it's mobile. But uh, I wanted something like, it probably, I don't know. I may end up with one of these very soon. We'll see if I can find one for used or something. But um, I'm really hyped on this, guys. Uh, I hate saying guys. I hate that word. It just sounds like I'm an idiot. A little, whatever. Um, get yourself one of these if you haven't had a DAC combo amp or if you've just got something that's not really doing the trick for you, don't have a really emotional connection with it. Maybe you're thinking, man, maybe there's something else better out there. Well, this might be it. It is for me. Right on. Talk to you later.